I can't believe it's almost Christmas. Yeah, only two more days till Christmas, and only one more day until we perform our show on Main Street. This is so cool. I'll bet we'll have lots and lots of people because the stores will just close. And all those people buying all those last minute gifts will walk over. Speaking of gifts, does your family open presents on Christmas Eve or do they make you wait until Christmas morning? We open them on Christmas Eve. Really? Wow. Oh, you're so lucky. At my house, we have to wait until Christmas morning. Ugh. Ugh. We have to wait until all the grown ups wake up. Ugh. Ugh. Finish breakfast oh. and sip their coffee. Oh. It drives us crazy. We've all been waiting 363 days for Christmas. I hate to wait for Christmas, it has been almost a year. It's hard to wait for Christmas, and I wish it would get here. I hate to wait for Christmas, because each day just drives along. All this waiting and anticipating goes on and on. The minutes turn to hours and the hours turn to days. The clock is ticking oh so slow I do. Remain inactive until something anticipating occurs. Eight. A strong feeling of dislike or distaste. Love. To enjoy enthusiastically with great fondness. Christmas. December 25th. Celebrate the anniversary of Christ's birth. I hate to wait for Christmas. It has been almost a year. It's hard to wait for Christmas. Well, the good news is Christmas is almost here. You guys, you guys, there's terrible news. <gasps> the mayor won't let us have our show in the town square tomorrow. He just decided. What? Now, now, boys and girls, wait a minute. I don't want you telling your moms and dads that I said you can't have the pageant in the square tomorrow. So we can have our pageant? Well, no, you can't. What? what? Well, I'm afraid that the, uh, the town square isn't such a great idea. Why not? Why not? What? Well, I got to level you boys and girls. My latest polling shows that, number one, I look better in red power ties. Number two, parking meters should be free on weekends. And number three, your show is going to cause a lot of traffic problems. That's it, traffic. But maybe next year you can, if you make a few changes, make it a little bit uh, more hip, happening, rad. Isn't that what your kids say? No. <laughs> well, uh, you got to admit that the manger scene is a little bit old-fashioned. What? 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 Yeah. You just can't argue with public opinion, especially with my re-election coming up. Sorry, kids. But say hi to your moms and dads for me, and uh, get out of run. Uh, just remind them to make sure to get out and vote. Bye-bye. You can't do that. We've been planning this for months and all those rehearsals. Well, I guess you can, because you just did. we got to find another place. We can't. It's too late. I don't care what the poll said. I don't even know what a poll is. Let's get everybody in the neighborhood to help, you know, to call Don Hall, to get him to change his mind. Yeah, yeah. good idea. But how do we reach everyone? Time's too short. Tomorrow's our show. Hey, I've got an idea. What if we all go Christmas caroling right now? 
hey, yeah, we can go door to door and get all the neighbors to help. The show must go on. Yeah. 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 Let's start out on Main Street. We can get lots of people there. Our show has a message that God wants everybody to hear. Let's go to the right. Wow, that house has the fanciest decorations I've ever seen. Look how bright and cheery it is. It's all decked out for Christmas. Whoever lives there must love Christmas. Hey, they would love our show. Well, there's only one way to figure out. Ring the doorbell. Stay off the lawn. Watch out for the lights. The gardener spent hours putting those up. Don't break them. Do you think they want money? Money? All kids want money at Christmas time. All kids want money all the time. Maybe five dollars? Five dollars? Yeah, let's do it. Five dollars. Oh, we don't want your money. Are you sure? Five dollars can go a long way. No, we need your help. We would like it if you call the mayor to ask him to let us perform in the sh our show in the town square tomorrow. Oh, did he finally cancel that thing? Good for him. I've been after him for weeks to take care of that. Sorry, kids. The traffic your pageant would cause would be a nightmare. Really, children, the pageant is cute, but it kind of belongs in a church, not in the town square. I'm sure your parents understand that, and you will too when you grow up. Not everybody's that religious at Christmas. Ta-ta. I hope they don't come back later and trample on our beautiful decorations. Nah, that's okay. I'll just sue them if they do. Wow. That was so weird. What do you mean? Why would they have all those decorations and lights if they don't even like Christmas? Oh, they like Christmas. It's Christ they have a problem with. snowman in a tree it's kind of empty cause without Jesus you'll never understand you'll never know the heart of Christmas just have to try harder then. That's all. Right, pick ourselves up and get back at it. Next house. 
Wow, these guys have fun lights and flags of all sorts. Go ahead, ring the doorbell. thing. No, no. I know. It's Christmas carols. Carols, that's what it is. Christmas carols. It sounds so much better when the kids sing it. Way better than the music at the mall. Ma'am, sir, we need your help. We're the kids that were supposed to be performing our pageant tomorrow in the town square. Oh, yeah. How cute. Were you planning on joining us? Sure. We go to all the holiday events all around. We celebrate all the holidays, too. Yeah, like Flag Day? Earth Day? Mardi Gras, I wouldn't want to forget that one. I don't want to offend anyone. Besides, who knows what the right holiday story is? Yeah, you know, you got to keep your bases covered, bro. Mm -hmm. What? Are you serious? The mayor has, the mayor is keeping us from doing our show tomorrow in the town square. Can you call him and ask him if we can perform? Doesn't like, seem fair. Well, I think that everybody should be able to celebrate their Christmas thingy, their holiday thingy, whatever thingy, however they want. Okay, you know what? We'll call. Hey, season's greetings, Zap. Uh, Bye-bye now. Are you really going to call? Oh, we're not going to call. Shh, we don't want to get involved. Wow, those people celebrated all the holidays. I bet they get a lot of presents. But what do they really believe? A little bit of everything. But if you believe in everything, you really don't believe in anything. I'm glad I know what I believe.
You guys, you guys, we've got to keep trying. It's obvious that a lot of people right here on Main Street don't understand or believe that Jesus is why we celebrate Christmas. Now I really want to put on our show. We need to. Hey, look over there. Let's try that house. Maybe they will help us. Uh, I don't know. That house only has a reef on its door. It's pretty and all, but I don't think they're that much into Christmas. You didn't just say that, did you? Did you learn anything from the past two houses that we've been to? The outside doesn't always match up what's on the inside. That's for sure. Only one way to find out. Ring that bell. right now so he couldn't be here this Christmas and I just couldn't get all the decorations up all by myself but we're not alone and their daddy isn't alone either somehow we feel together I'm sure that's because of Jesus and you children just reminded me of that is there anything I can get you some hot cocoa no thank you we need your help what children what can I do for you well we're the kids that are supposed to perform our show in the town square tomorrow oh yes I saw the signs we're planning on being there well, right now, it's been canceled. The mayor won't let us do it. What? He said the show would be too busy, too much traffic. He also said that I was too close to his re-election, and he didn't want anything to do with the manger scene. It isn't hip or happening enough. Oh, my, no manger scene. But that's where Christmas began, with the birth of Jesus. He knows that. Will you call Town Hall and ask him to change his mind? Oh, yes, this is too important. Yeah, you just wouldn't believe how many adults don't know about Jesus. We just got to tell them. Yes, you do. Don't you worry. I will call there right now. And I have a connection down at Town Hall. So I will see you guys tomorrow at the Town Square on Main Street. God bless. It's going to take a miracle for that to happen. Christmas is all about miracles. Wow, that lady was so different than anyone else we've seen today. I liked her. Me too. She, she sparkled. Yeah, she didn't need fancy Christmas decorations. She sparkles on her own. You'll find a sparkle in her smile, compassion in her voice, and love shine through her eyes from a tender heart of joy. It's very clear to see, she lives what she believes. It's very clear to me that she knows what Christmas is.
Come on, guys. Let's get the rest of the houses on the street. We've got work to do. Okay. Okay. I give up. Mr. Mayor. Uh, what happens here? It wasn't bad enough that you... My phone's been ringing all afternoon, and now you get my daughter to call me? Your daughter? What do you mean? Well, you must have gone Christmas caroling at every house on Main Street today. We got to as many as we could. Well, I sure got a lot of calls. And the worst part was, though, when my daughter called me and asked me to let the pageant go on. She likes all that shepherds and mm, wise men, major stuff. She says it's an important part of her faith. I just can't say no to her, especially this time of year with a husband away in the Air Force at all. That pretty lady is her daughter? Well, you know, good looks run in the family. Where did they run when they came to him? <laughs> well, I tell you, my daughter is my pride and joy. She did say that all she wanted for Christmas this year was to see me at the pageant in the square. Well... I know I'm going to lose a few votes on this, but it's back on. You kids can use the square. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. There is a candle in every soul. Some brightly burning, some dark and cold. There is a spirit who brings a fire, ignites a candle, and makes his home. Carry your candle, run to the dark.
I'm so excited today is finally here. We get to do our show. Yeah, and look, there's so many people here. And hey, there's Amarina's daughter in the front row. It's another Christmas miracle. Hey, how's your wings? Brandon, where's your mirth? I wonder how many people we sang to yesterday showed up. How many people are there? One, two, three. Gazillions, come on, let's get started. Please, 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 everybody. Three, two, one, go, announcer kid. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our Main Street Christmas pageant. The birth of Jesus took place there 2,000 years ago. He didn't have cell phones or pages, so turn them off, please. Merry Christmas. Shepherds out in the fields, can you watch over their flocks by night? And suddenly an angel of the Lord came to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were afraid. Fear not, the angel said, I bring you good news of great joy, and it will be for all people. For I am to you is born this day in the city of David, a Savior who is Christ the Lord, and this will be a sign unto you. You will find the baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of heavenly hosts appeared to them, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill to men.
Mr. Mayor, did you like it? Well, I think it's been 20 years since I actually listened to that story tonight. Since my daughter was little and in these things, I've just gotten distracted by all the, the balls and the music. It just seems like all this stuff starts earlier and earlier every year. You know why that is, Dad? Why is that, Princess? This old world is so hungry for the story of Christmas, they just can't get it soon enough. One of these days, they're going to be decorating the malls right after the 4th of July. The world just gets the message of Christ mixed up with the shopping and the gift giving, but you children made the story of Christmas sparkling and crystal clear tonight. I, I don't care if I lose votes on this, but I think the community needs to hear this message every year. And you know what, kids? Next year, I want to be in the pageant. I want to audition. Yeah. Can I? Yes, you yeah. can. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, it's uh, Christmas Eve, and I bet your, your family's all waiting for you. But you know what? No gift could be nearly as precious as what you boys and girls gave to us tonight. You stood up for what you believe, and you told us what we needed to hear. I think we just witnessed the real miracle on Main Street. Another.